Hi everyone, it's Gillian from Rustic Journals. I hope everybody's doing well today and you're enjoying some nice warm weather wherever you are. So I've come on today to do um, two things. The first thing is to show you my bargain haul I got at the local charity shop or thrift shop as it's known in America. And secondly, to do a flip through of the gardening journal. Finally got that one finished. So I'll start off with the haul anyway, because there's not that much things to go through. So the first thing is these packets of, like, I guess they're for putting down the edge of a page or something. But they're so pretty. Uh, that's, I think, no, that's not the same. No, that's the same as that one and that one. And then we've got one, two, three. Yeah, these are the same pattern. I don't know how clear they're going to show up on camera, to be honest. And then this packet is similar as well. But this one has got fairies and things. I should have held off with my Happy Mail to Denise Junk Journals because she's doing a fairy journal just now. And I would have popped some of these in. Mm, that's the same. And then this one. And this one. All right, I'll put them all back in their packets once I've finished filming. And they can just go up here out of the way. So that was them. And then there was these three um, vintage buttons. And then these are like charms. Yeah. Uh, what is that one? Oh, it's a hat. I thought it was a teacup. It's actually a hat and a birdhouse and a frame and looks like a flower pot with flowers. They're really cute. <laughs> and then some small uh, pink and purple brads. And these I thought would be good for like, I don't know, like dangle charm type things for journals. They're like chipboard kind of stuff. Like, yeah. And they're all in different like tag type shapes. So I thought a bit of embellishing and they would be good for, uh, yeah, charms or dangles or something. So yeah, that was them. And then this, uh, it's a mini album, it says. Create 12 mini scrapbook pages. Like when I first got it, I thought it was like a photo album type thing, but it's not. And then there's like a window bit in there. You could put a photograph or a picture or something. And then you've just got some pages here and then a little ribbon closure there. So that was that and this is my favourite and the box is just lovely as well. I, I peeled off the sticker, it was Anna Griff Griffin or Griffith I think was the, was the name of the brand and then this opens up and it's, it hasn't even been used. Let me check it out and let you see. Come on, out we get. There we go. Yeah, you see, it's all still sealed. Let's open it up. Ah, here's the... Yeah, Anna Griffin it is. Yeah. All Night Media. She does have a website, because I went on and had a look. And sells all kind of crafting type things. 
and um, her stuff is quite expensive so I couldn't see this anymore um, on the website so I don't know if it's like a really old one um, maybe you have to stick the ah yeah so you must have to put the stamps on the duda things yourself yeah so queen for a day like a vintage type shoe and another vintage shoe a handbag the the set was called uh, shoes and handbags and there we have a hat and another handbag and then we have four inks it's like a metallic gold copper kind of color and that looks like a burgundy wine kind of color dusky pink and what's that one that looks like a wine kind of color as well it's hard to see on the camera i think and then some ribbon red and gold ribbon so yeah so for all of these things that i've shown you um I was just four pounds for all of it. Such a bargain. It's a hit or a miss when I go into the charity shop. Sometimes you see lots of bargains and then the next time you go in and there's not really anything. <laughs> Open up. I'll just pop everything in here just now and sort it out later. But yeah, I really like this box. Right, good grief, I've got stuff everywhere now. Right, if we just put that there just now and then I can grab the garden journal and we will have a wee flip through of that. Now it's just up here. So I've, uh, I've put this writing board in and I'm going to put it like in the middle. to the side just now so this is the topper that I made it's just got different uh, it's like that material that you do cross stitch on underneath and then this I don't know mesh type stuff with speckled bits on top of that and then we have some lace and buttons and a uh, flower embellishment thing and then we have a label and another flower with a bling bit in the middle. And then uh, this trim stuff I had, I made it look like a garden fence and I fed the flowers through. And then down here, we've got some of this leaf trim stuff that you get and I've just glued on these flower embellishments. And then the spine, we've just got some... Um, trim stuff down there covering the stitches for the signature and the back is just pretty much plain and then nice and chunky <laughs> right so the inside cover um is just like a velvety fabric on top of the this stuff that i did the outside cover with and I've got a belly band on there with a label that says this book belongs to. And then this journal card that I showed you right at the start of the series, I've managed to find a spot for it now. It fits just perfectly in here. And then I made these myself and I've printed out a heap of them. And it's basically just one of these uh, letters, you know, to give to people to give them ideas of what you can do with a junk journal if they don't know already. So that just pops in there like that. Now the first signature, this is some fabric stitched onto this uh, page here. And then we've got this um, little tuck spot with the cute little journal card there and then there's just different 
collaged bits and pieces, um, you know, on the page there. And then we have a fabric uh, doily type thing there. And just a cute little embellishment and some trim down the side on here. And then I've just made a side tuck with this um, page, torn out bit of page here. And then there's this journal card that I think we made on camera. I think we did. Okay. And then we have a flip out envelope here with a, a wee embellishment there. And then inside this envelope, we've got, you're invited to a garden dinner party and book exchange. And then I've just done some stamping on the envelope there. And for people that have been watching this series play out, you probably have seen quite a few of these pages already. Um, and then we've got like paper ruffle um, stitched on down there for page decoration. And we've got a bag here that's got a uh, collage and whatnot and some washi stickers decorating it. And then some book page that's had some napkin collaged onto that. Decoupaged, I should say. On there. And then that's the middle of the first signature. And then we've got this um, pocket with a uh, with vellum there. A tall journal card that pops in. There's plenty of journal space as well on here, which is good. And then this um, journal card is just clipped in with a hidden paper clip and then I've made a doily pocket here with a little journal card although it's just more like paper than a than card stock for that particular one and then I've made a ruffle out of the fabric that the cover is made from cute little tuck spot here with a journal card and then we've got the other uh, side of the doily thingy now here we've got a tuck spot here and then in there we've got this journaling card and a seed packet that opens up into a hidden journal space with a cute little bird peeping out the top there <laughs> And then I've made a little tab here, page tab, with some gold um, stickers, bird and two little flowers there. And then on the other side, we have got, I think it's actually an onion from the allotment, meant to be. And um, a butterfly I've glued on there and a label with some daffodil up there. And down at the bottom, this was actually some page trim, but it just reminded me on a little fence. So I popped that in as a little pocket to hold this cute tiny wee tag. <laughs> and then another of those butterflies down there just to tie it all in nicely. And that's the end of the first signature. So the second one, we've got this. Um, it was from a, a book and I just cut out this bit here to make a corner pocket sort of thing and then we've got some music vintage music sheet here um, and I thought that was quite good to pop in called in the garden since it was a garden themed uh, <laughs> uh, what do you call it journal so yeah that goes in there like that and we can tuck it back in here that's it. 
and then we've got these uh, vintage scraps uh, and that's the wheelbarrow with the daisy type flowers and some more vintage book page with uh, napkin bits and bobs decoupaged on there nice pocket and we've got one journal card and I don't really know if this is a journal card as such there's plenty of journal space on that side and on the back so that pops in there yep and then I've um, stuck down some lace onto packaging, Amazon packaging paper and used this little bit of ruffle to make a page tab there. And then we've got another little tuck spot with a faux ticket and a small journal card backed onto avocado dyed paper there. Now this, I think, is that out of, oh, what's she called again? Edith Holden. That might be out of an Edith Holden book. I can't remember. But I've, I've stitched the, um, the page or the image onto this avocado dyed paper and made a pocket. And then we've got some more vintage music paper. I leave my heart in an English garden. So again, I picked that one because it fitted the gardening theme. And I, I left this tape on because it's vintage. <laughs> and then we've got a seed packet, part of a seed packet that I've cut out there just to make a little tab. And then the other side, we've got some pretty lace trim down the edge there. And this here, this pocket is made from a tiny little book that I have um, and it's just got different poems and things from uh, you know about gardening and things so there's a nice one there and then the back of it we've got a miniature little guest check well half a label that I've popped on the back there and then some vellum uh, a little vellum sheet with pretty flowers on it so that just tucks into there. And then over here, we've got this um, paper ruffle glued onto some cardstock to make a little, uh, I mean, you couldn't really call it a pocket as such, <laughs> but that is holding these, um, these are real seed, wildflower seeds. Can't remember where I got them. Maybe it was with a kid's magazine, I think, probably. And then I've just uh, collaged down this bits and bobs here. And then we've got a cluster here and this card. I think I showed this card on the last. I think we might have done that on the last garden video. And I've just put it on with a paper clip and tied some ribbon up at the top there in a bow. Now, here we've got this uh, journal card and then it's got a pocket with a smaller journal card in it there. There we go and then that pops in there like that and then that's the middle of the next signature. So here we've got uh, oh yeah, this was from the Bruins book, The History of the Shed. <laughs> and then I've just made that into a little journaling spot there. And then this envelope, faux envelope, and it pulls down into some more journaling space. So I've just clipped that on with a, a treble clef uh, paper clip there. Right, let's see. Right, that just clips back on like that. There we go. And then over at this side, we've got um, a seed packet, not a real one. It's cut out from the Bruins book, I think, if I remember rightly. And then we have a 
sweet little journaling card that pops in there. And then another of these pretty scraps. Oh, I've got another pocket here. Vegetable rotation year one, two and three. And then on the back, we've got useful gardening measures. So that goes in that pocket there then. Okay. And then here we have got a huge journaling card. I've had this one in my stash for so long. But with a garden fence there, I just thought that would be really nice to put in with this uh, journal. And then I've just drawn on like stitch, uh, stitches. <laughs> I think I must have made this journal card before I, I had learned how to use my sewing machine. <laughs> and then we've got this vintage um, Collins Garden Cards set, lead warp, and then all the information about it on the back there. I think this set was another thing that I picked up in a secondhand bookshop. And then we've got this um, side pocket here and we've got this journal card in there. And we've got a fabric pocket again made out of the same fabric that the uh, cover is made from. And inside we've got this four postcard that is a little scrappy notebook uh, inside yeah and then a cute little teeny tag label thing and that's tucked into a little um die cut doily and then over here We've got an applique glued on here with a bling thing in the middle and then some tiny envelopes that I made and uh, we've got a faux stamp popped into that one and just some labels and a butterfly and things in there. And then whoever buys this journal will have a few bits and pieces that they can add to the journal if they want to. Oh. And then that's the other side of that lace on the Amazon packaging. And I've just made this uh, into a, a page tab and added this uh, leaf, gold leaf dangle there. And then we have an up top here with again another journaling card. And that's the end of the second signature. Right, I've got an up tuck here. And I've just popped a brad on here and um, yeah, it's just a bit of a book page and I've distressed around the edges. I think it's, it's just got some information about different times of the year and what's what with gardening. And then I've got a little lace clustery type thing up there. Some um, images glued on down there. Little pocket with some cards popped in here. There we go. And then we have a vintage um, doily here. And inside there, I made a little notepad from different, uh, you know, scrapbook papers and whatnot. Some vellum and things. So that goes in there. And then we have another cute little charm attached, a little bell type flower. Somebody else did a flip through recently that had one of these on them. I can't remember who it was now. 
um, it might have been Wendy, but I'm not sure. <laughs> and then here's one of these pockets that I made out of um, cereal packet and napkin. And then we have a little journal card popped in there. Cute little uh, page tab there. And then this page is made from uh, wallpaper. And I've just added on some uh, leaf trim and uh, belly band. And then we've got this envelope here. Oops, thrown it away. Has it got anything in it? Oh yes, I added some of these cute papers that I've got. I like this one because you could actually fussy cut those if you wanted. They'd be really little but still cute. Okay, so that goes in there and then here we've got another book page image and I've made that into a pocket and this is just some uh, vintage book page that I have uh, decoupaged some napkin onto the middle of the third signature and again um, this is out of the Bruins book and it's got starting your allotment different information there and I've made that into a pocket and then that's just more information about an allotment And then we've got the other side of the wallpaper here with a wee pocket I've popped on at the bottom and another journal card. And I've added this label, Gardening Tools. Oh yeah, I've popped some of that leaf trim down the side there as well. And then here we've got another pocket and a journal card. Some more ruffle using the same fabric and some stencil in there. And another little pocket here. And another cute journal card. Oh, that's got a cute label on the back. And then over here we have another up tuck. And this is just a um, dictionary page with napkin decoupaged over it and turned into a journal card backed onto coffee dyed paper. And then we have this little hidden pocket here. And you could, I don't know what, you could use this as a bookmark or something maybe. So yeah, that goes in there. And then we've got some really pretty page trim here, More book page with napkin decoupaged on and then we've got this mason jar that I've made into a tuck spot here and a guest check backed onto coffee dyed paper there and that's the end of that signature and finally the last signature So we've got this pocket here and then this came out of the Observer's Book of Wildflowers. Now I think this is a vintage book if I remember rightly and I've just um, glued down this flower and this cute little girl here. Added in a bit for journal in there and uh, this lady tending to her flowers and then we've got the book page. Um, that I've left there. Okay. Now we've got a side uh, pocket here that I've made from burlap, stitched on some buttons and glued down some leaves. And then we have another one of these, uh, what are they called, leaf brads there. And I've used that to hold down the ribbon. And then inside here, 
just a card that I've glued down some lacy type stuff onto. Yeah, journal card. pocket over here with two cards that could be used as belly bands or even journal cards or bookmarks or whatever and then we have a pretty lace pocket with some buttons stitched on and uh, flower embellishments there and then we've got another journal card That goes in there. Oh, in the pop now. Doesn't want to go back in, does it? <laughs> okay. And then we've got another one of these pockets with a big kind of square shaped journal card that pops in there. Now this is the middle of this one, so this we've got this that I've tucked into this side of it, so that opens up into a big journal spot there. And then we've got the specimen card at this side that we made on camera, I think, last time. And then this sheet folds out like this because I didn't want to cut it up so that whoever gets the journal, if they wanted to make the um, paper flowers, you know, they'd have all the bits and bobs there for it. So there's a sweet pea on this side and an orchid on this side. Uh, Oriental poppy and delphinium on that side. So yeah, this is from a, a really old, um, it's not really a magazine as such. Um, it's like, a cross between a magazine and a book really and it was full of like this kind of thing where you can you know cut out all the bits and make the paper flowers so yeah that's why I folded it all up like that so that um you know it kept it all in one piece kind of thing all right so that's that and then over here we have a corner pocket and a journal card that I've made here. Watercolour painted all of this and uh, put some vellum, a vellum window in here and glued on bits and pieces and whatnot. And then I um, yeah, put down a stencil and used watercolours to try and do it, but it didn't work out very well with the watercolour and the stencil. Just got some more journal space here at this side and a pocket type thing here with a journal and tag there and then here we've got an altered paper clip which is holding down this envelope that's a paper clip and then this envelope here a journal and card inside I think the last time I made a journal this size was the fairy journal and by the time I got to the end of it um, you know finished making it I was so fed up at the sight of it but um, I've actually really enjoyed this one I didn't get fed up and they're about, they're about the same size as well. Now, this is um, this thingy that I got the idea off of Denise Junk Journals UK. And it folds down like that. I mean, you could write on the back of the cards if you wanted as well. Or you could just leave it hanging down if you wanted. <laughs> There 
there we are and then i've just done some stamping on that page there and i think oh no one more page <laughs> we've got this sweet pea packet and that just is really a little flip out with some journal space on it there and that is the end gosh that took a while to do a flip through on that size of a journal <laughs> well i hope you've enjoyed that anyway and um that's all of the journals now that i've been working on finished in folios so we've got some new ones that will be starting um bluebell woods i'm going to be doing for tanya at tatty treasure and i've got um oh no oh it's a strawberry recipe book type one that i'm going to be doing for caroline at caroline's musings and I'm not sure what I'm going to do for my third one. I have a few different um, themes of things that I've got gathered up, so I'm not sure which one I'm going to pick. But, uh, but yeah, I'll definitely have those other two anyway, so I will need to get going with fussy cutting all the bits out of the kits and whatnot. And I hope you'll be able to join me when I start filming those. Okay, everyone, take care and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye for now.